presented by your local Ford stores. And Meredith, with news of Glaber Torres testing positive, what is the Yankees' plan moving forward at shortstop right now? Well, Bob, tonight Gio Urshela gets the nod at shortstop. We saw him play short one other time this season. Aaron Boone has said time and time again he feels confident anytime Gio has a glove anywhere in the infield. So look to him to see a lot of time at short with Glaber Torres out. Also noteworthy, Miguel Andujar has been recalled. He's playing third tonight. Also, they have Tyler Wade on the bench. He's a guy that can fill in at shortstop. We know DJ LeMahieu could move over to third if need be there. So the Yankees do have some options when it comes comes to the infield but as you mentioned the Yankees are now up to eight positive COVID tests and Aaron Boone spoke a little bit about what it's been like over the last few days trying to manage the situation. Certainly unexpected you know obviously I think everyone Major League Baseball the you know everyone that's in charge of the testing is obviously looking into that and you know the variants that that could be out there and you know if that is indeed the case so uh, yeah, just try and do as best we can, um, you know, uh, keep our guys healthy, safe, and, and, and the people we're, we're surrounded with, and just trying to do the best we can, you know, as things continue to trickle in. Right now, we're dealing with, obviously, a ton of moving parts and, and things continuing to unfold in-house, so we're just trying to get our arms around that and handle it the best we can. And, and take take the guidance from Major League Baseball, from the doctors that um, you know we deal with, um, and and just trying to do the best we can with with our situation right now and kind of our uh, our world that we live in on a daily basis. So um, no, I mean I I understand the move towards normalcy. I've started down that road a little bit as well. Obviously, we've been rocked here the last several days, so. Uh, just trying to handle it and as best we can. We're adjusting and rolling. It's added some extra work, but uh, but we're happy to be in a position we are, which is you know for the most part almost everybody fully vaccinated uh, and therefore better protected uh, uh, despite you know what's occurred here this week. Cash, could you imagine after the team does get vaccinated that you would have this type of an outbreak with guys testing positive, especially? Some that have already had coronavirus as well in addition to a vaccination you know when you when you read the fine print you know they tell you that you know you still could you know get the covid and the vaccine is to protect you from you know the symptoms either to eliminate them altogether and protect you uh it's not fully protection you, you know the percentages um, but the one thing I take from this is I believe the vaccine is working. You know, we've got eight positives and seven of the eight presented as, as without symptoms. Uh, so without the testing, you wouldn't even have known. Uh, and then the one that did present, thankfully now in Phil Evans' case, is symptom-free. symptom, is symptom and Brian Cashman went on to say they are optimistic that the Yankees are getting on the other side of this. This is the first day that they did not receive any new positive tests. And while he said he understands that some could still develop, he feels as though uh, the team is heading now in the right direction. And just speaking to players over the last couple of days, they mentioned how the testing and worrying about this heading into games certainly has been a strain. But once they get on that field, it's almost like business as usual. It kind it takes them away from everything that's happening with the team in regards to COVID.